what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. I am Zedmod, and if this is your first time coming to the channel, do hit me up in the comments. Would love to hear from you. Let me know what you think, how it's going, all things in between. Now, this is where I'm sitting at. We are sitting at rank 18, and it's another day and another base. We are going to collect every single one of those buildings, and we are going to make a whole new base now is this a good idea yes yes it is this is the easiest way to get into 19 at the moment is to do this now what we're also gonna do is i am gonna spend some of those coveted coveted diamonds and we're gonna switch it up go to a simo that is right we are going full on full bore so i'm gonna pause right here i'll come back once i've got a few things placed and then show you my new base now, this base came from the player on the leaderboard named Melody. I don't know who Melody is, but their base, where number 13 right there is the one you want to look at. Um, I will let you do a freeze frame in case you want to grab all of my stuff. And by a freeze frame, I mean hold it like this. That way you can see where all the squares are and stuff like that. Makes building the base like at least 64% easier. But my favorite detail before we get too far is called the reach around where you let all of your troops go up into where the heck where is my coloring why can't i draw on this puppy there we go so um where you let your troops go up into here and then they come around right into there so do be aware that your troops are going to see from this engine room the next closest defense is going to be here so there's going to be all sorts of wrapping around into here and that's going to get all sorts of goodness so you can use that troop movement to your benefit you'll notice that all of these mines are set up to stop that maneuver because yeah anyways we're gonna pause i'll keep building the base and i'll come back if i can think of anything interesting to say so i did promise i was gonna put up a war factory video yesterday that never happened got completely and utterly swamped so my apologies for that thank you for your patience critter cannons likely made it into a piece of cake for you but honestly i haven't even looked i didn't even look at war factory i had zero time zero spare seconds now back to the war ships i love this like you would never see a base like this on the main base because there's only one headquarters and so by adding extra headquarters also known as engine rooms it just gives this big huge gaping space in the middle and it just makes such interesting base layouts possible so um i know a lot of players out there or at least some players out there aren't super duper stoked on the idea of warships but if you're one of those holdouts do give it a shot because some of these bases are just so so ridiculously good and there's so much interesting available options and um, i am not one who takes full advantage of these things i am more of a base copier than a base designer it's very very rare that i build my own base but there are just so many cool little intricate details that can be made and um you're you're missing out if you're not playing warships and i know that some people will disagree with that but um it's there's a lot of cool cool stuff to be done so i've got a few more things to place and i do wish there was a base designer where you could copy someone else's base instantly that would be fantastic for obvious obvious reasons but at the same time um, that would also allow people to hide their bases when they weren't online playing so i am also somewhat thankful that they have not built a base designer that allows you to save your bases and things like that so almost there i've got seven mines four boom mines and then i'll be back in a couple more seconds there she beat. I always feel a little bit awkward when I pause. I'll say I'll be back in a second, but zero time passes for you guys. Anyways, um, don't have smoke quick tech tree review. Now, I thought I was being clever. My mechs were, because of that bug with the swap, my mechs were listed as level four, but they were actually list showing here as tick three. I upgraded them thinking maybe they'd go to five, and they went to four. So, um, do not, if you think maybe you can boost your 
if you're getting the artificial boost by that terrible swap bug, don't go boost things up and upgrade and spend tokens because you will regret it. Now, my troop damage sitting at four there, sitting at four there as well. Sniper tower is not maxed. Otherwise, basically everything is maxed. Rocket sitting at tick three because tick four is so gosh darn expensive. Don't have barrage. Shock sitting at level one. I probably should upgrade those because it will help keep my troops alive. Might do that before the end of the video, to be completely honest. But sitting, waiting, needing extra keys because we need to get to that building health. Once we get to 100% building health, that is going to be a complete and utter game changer. You know what? I am not going to upgrade my GBE, so I am going to spend some tokens right in here. I, the fact they call them upgrade tokens and unlock tokens... Spending tokens just... Anyways, you get the idea. We're spending tokens. I call these tokens. I call these keys. Um, you let me know if you call them something different. We're going to get in, try a couple attacks, and hope that our base can stand on its head and just deny everyone that comes at it. Matchmaking, not super duper quick. Now, I am going to go full on slow mode. I am going to go... Off to this left-hand side, we're just going to hang out a little bit here, and I am going to wait and wait and wait and get my three boats going towards the left-hand side. I am not going to do anything in a hurry here, and then I'm going to drop up into this corner, and then all of this stuff up into this corner. And that gives a little bit of separation so that these troops see these defenses instead of going over there. And then hopefully, yep, critters turning right. You can generally get an idea of where the heck your troops are going to go based on where your critters turn there. So now, um, because there's nothing up in this corner, we can't take advantage of that reach around I was talking about. Um, and so we're just going to have to wait and see where those troops are just going to come back and join the fray. So not getting any sort of fanciness out of there, but don't need a heck of a lot of fanciness because like I said, our base is still fresh enough and new enough that people probably haven't seen it and this season you kind of need to keep your base fresh and exciting a little tiny bit a little bit more than normal which i am not super super keen on because as we talked about i am not full of time at the moment and our opponent already has two engine rooms down which is kind of scaring me um i think my base should be able to stand up on its own but at the same time maybe just maybe it's already been exploited people have already figured it out i kind of really really hope that's not the case now on these kind of bases my flares don't last very long and as a result we can get all sorts of spread on our bombardiers see that right there getting a little bit of value by the fact that our flares expired so we're gonna get some bombardiers going for that back engine room some going for that front engine room and now it's just a complete and utter race to the finish line as we try and get that final flare into there no point really throwing critters two minutes two seconds not a great time but you saw we were trying to go slow just hoping that our base is going to stand on its head and it didn't. 2 minutes, 25 seconds. So all of that work to build a base. And my old base was getting a better time. So that's the fastest time I've seen. And it's on a new base. So sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe ship. As they say on the warship. Uh, my kids... You can't, we're just saying ship, Dad. It's like warships. Okay, so they're coming in with warriors and bombardiers and Everspark. Very, very curious to see how this plays out. And then, of course, they're using critters to clear the mines on that left-hand side. And they're probably going to... Oh, they're bringing one boat of bombardiers. Fairly smart play there. Love seeing split troops, whether it be in operation attacks or on warships. And then coming in and just clearing. Do they have any warriors left? They have zero warriors left, but their med kits are enough to keep them alive, which is frankly amazing. Hitting those boom mines, hitting all of those mines, and they still manage to get a bet, uh, that ridiculous, ridiculous time. Um, I don't even know what's going on right now. Like, how in the heck did they even beat me? Like, this just seems like it should not have happened. Coming in with that shock, they have, like, two 
bombardiers left and they managed to take the base down. So that kamikaze flare at the end was all of the goodness. I'm amazed that they met. I don't think that's going to be able to happen very terribly often. I think they got a little bit lucky. Uh, maybe this base, maybe I need higher level rocket launchers, for example. Tick four rocket launchers would likely make a big difference, but I'm very, very curious. I take my cap off to you. I didn't want to disrespect that player, Azer, uh, by saying a little bit lucky, but I just feel like the base should stand up. They had like two troops left over. Let's see what the heck we can do here. So I am going to go something like this. We're going to go one and two, and I'm going to flare all the way into here. We're going to drop a couple boats in like this. We're going to drop some critters there, some shocks there, and then all of our stuff, bringing our troops in all sorts of directions, trying to mix things up a teeny, tiny, tiny bit. Now, we've got a couple boats of bombardiers on that left-hand side. They should take care of themselves. Then they're going to do that reach around that we talked about a little bit earlier. So I need to prepare for that. Need to get some critters out. Now, I'm not going to shock that left-hand side. We've got enough bombardiers on that left-hand side that they should be able to take care of themselves. Is that going to be the case? Not entirely sure. Those critters also going to come in and distract a little bit, and then we can ignore this right-hand side for the time being. So, left-hand side, bombardiers doing great, great work. I got to upgrade my med kits. I am just watching our troops almost die. Like, they are on complete and utter life support. Now, these guys don't rule those left-hand side guys out. They are going to do great, great things for us, provided they can stay alive. So. I am going to be keeping all sorts of GBE available for that left hand side. We're going to throw a shock right about now as they settle into position. While they're moving, it's not really all that super duper required to throw those shocks out because they can do all sorts of great stuff on their own and I should have shocked that um, what is that thing called? A rocket launcher. There's no reason for me not to shock that as I'm trying to flare that very, very corner and it is not working. We are down to the complete and utter nitty gritty one more time. And it looks like we're going to lose once again. So this base has been absolutely rocking people's worlds for people like Orion and Mackett and Stoneheart and Melody. And suddenly I'm feeling a lot like I have made a terrible, terrible <coughs> mistake so uh, we're gonna keep on with this base a little bit but so far we're 0 for 2 if that continues i might have to go back to that sky shield now even i might just remove that semo and go back you know what i'm gonna do that right now we're gonna spend another 200 diamonds and just a reminder that every single time you change it costs an extra 100 diamonds so hopefully this is the last time we do that but not quite sure yet now we're going to make sure that see that sky shield is covering the corner a couple of you noticed in my previous video got that corner or and or you can get the back corner depending on where that sky shield is so always always look for a exploit of where the heck you can throw your flare because there's usually a spot on the sky shield that you can exploit because like three times out of ten people will put them in the wrong spot now speaking of oh thank goodness managed to get a freebie here i'm gonna throw a boat of grenadiers in actually you know what we're gonna throw two boats of grenadiers in Gee, i think my grenadiers are like are, are my grenadiers level one no we're not gonna do that i was gonna throw some grenadiers in just to clear some mines but instead we'll put three boats of these puppies out front one two three and then we'll just drop all of our stuff down here nice and calm nice and smooth sailing if you're wondering why i'm using three boats of mechs it's literally just so I don't do something stupid and fail. The mechs are not going to die. 
they are just gonna slowly but surely walk on forwards and we're gonna be able to take this base down at about the three minute mark so three engine room bases have zero hope against four engine room bases it is not that kind of season it might be that kind of season later on where five fours can beat fives or fives can beat sixes or something like that but it's very very unlikely that a three is going to be able to beat a four so if i was to lose right now i would be extremely speaking of problems with sky shields you see that corner right there we can hit that corner we can also hit that back corner just like that three minutes three seconds don't have to rush against three engine room opponents at all squiggles mcgee my friend thank you for your sacrifice i feel like three percent bad beating a three engine room player but i really 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 needed that i mean that we were on a terrible terrible downward spiral um, needed a reach around and didn't get one but just full frontal was the answer for that puppy right there so oh, what do we do here what do we do here do those rocket launchers range back there I, I am so so tempted to critter that back engine room but i feel like that would not be the right answer so what i am gonna do oops i almost dropped three boats of mechs i'm gonna go down to one boat of mech that might be a terrible terrible idea but that is what we're gonna do for starters i'm gonna go something like this i'm gonna flare onto the boom cannon there and then we're just gonna hang out here probably gonna need a second flare actually to be completely honest and then we're gonna go something like this so if you're wondering why the heck I'm flaring that boom cannon, it's just to get my troops in a little bit better situation. That's going to put them underneath that rocket launcher, and now we can throw a nice shocky shock right about there. Getting all of our bombardiers coming on forwards, and I am going to need all sorts of critters to get this one down. But hopefully our GBE is going to stand up. Just need to make sure we keep Everspark alive. There is nothing worse than when Everspark dies. And so when you're designing your base, make sure you do your darndest to kill Everspark. That's why those corner rocket launchers, I mean, sorry, those corner boom cannons and things can... Oh, we got a retreat. We are on the road to success, my friends. We have managed to get ourselves a retreat. Also, we have guaranteed ourselves a win at this point i am gonna go all the way up here i said we guaranteed ourselves a win we are not quite guaranteed yet until we get one more engine room so sure we could be fast we could go get that um right hand side engine room there but we're just gonna be super super cautious and make sure we guarantee ourselves the win so likely would have stayed in that region or so and do experiment with those central flares because those central flares can be incredibly, incredibly useful. Um, that mech standing in, getting shots to the dome. Now, I know a bunch of you have been playing with all bombardiers. I just can't bring myself to do it. I find that I screw up a little bit. Now, maybe, just maybe, I could get all bombardiers to work if I had that extra GBE node. But for right now, just not quite there yet. So... If you're wondering why I flared that rocket launcher, just going for the full clear at that point. So two for two, definitely not super duper quick, but just so thankful that our fortunes changed after that three engine room base. So um, we're going to do one more battle, win or lose. We are sitting at 500 for the video. Let's see if we can finish this on a positive note. I got to say, I'm not feeling super duper confident right now, but we're going to do it our best effort and we'll just see how this goes this is exactly the base that i used to have like this is exactly the base so this is probably one of my subscribers that is me being a little bit over the top there are more people using this base than just my subscribers but i figured you know what my video was exactly on this base in the last couple days so we're gonna see who this is if this is you please hit me up in the comments let me know when you built this base how this base is working for you and why the heck i moved away from this base because it was doing so so well for me and now we have managed to get a huge chunk of our troops going in that right direction we've got a decent number of critters out front now we're gonna throw that shock 
get some critters out there at the same time. We've got too many troops on that left hand side, but we should be able to get something useful out of it. Now I said this was at my exact base. My base had the, some extra space back there, which it probably shouldn't have had. So this base is not a, an exact replica, but it's similar-ish. Similar-ish is about as close as I can put this one. And now we're gonna get all of those critters in there. Really would love to have one more shock about now, but just a little bit short on gunboat energy. And it's going to be very, very close here. We've got a bunch of bombardiers off to that left-hand side, and I would love to throw some critters out here in the next couple seconds to kill some of those mines, but we're not going to get the value I was hoping for, unfortunately. There we go. Managed to finally get a decent split now we just need to get that kamikaze flare ready to rock and roll. So as soon as we got enough of those in the air, we're going to throw that flare onto about there and just try our darndest to get as many troops rushing towards that final engine room as we possibly, possibly can. And of course, my flares have expired, so we are probably going to lose as a result. I need to upgrade my flares. Note to self, two minutes, two seconds. We are going to lose right here by one second. You see that? That is all because my flares are sitting on rank level two. So we're going to bump that up. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to bump that up. I'm going to leave it where it is now because I really do like those expiring flares. Let me know what rank your flares are sitting at, what rank you are sitting at, and if you think I'll be at 19 before my next video drops Otherwise, there is all sorts of awesomeness with the Critter Cannons. Also, Grenadiers are on 90% off. That is all for me today, folks. We are going to leave this video on a very, very sad note, unfortunately. That is right. The often imitated, never, ever, ever duplicated soundboard that is the sad trombone video with a losing rate need to pull my socks up. Now, part of that issue is a lot of players are going to be starting to get into that building health note. I've got a couple things that are off, such as the prototype Orion, for example, no prototype in 19. Also, anyways, we're going to leave it at that. I'm in a sad state. I'm going to go sit on my couch, sip a potential adult beverage and try to push this puppy into rank 19. Anyways, that is all for me. As per always, like it says in that bottom left-hand corner, consider throwing creator code ZMOT in every single Supercell game and one Space Ape game. I shall talk to you soon. Hit me up in the comments. Thanks for coming in. I'm ZMOT. Peace!